Hi, this is part four of a four-part series on the photo association page of the Hill and Nichols clan website. As we start this video, I have already signed in as Chicky and have come to the photo association page. In part two of this series, I outline the six steps or stages of preparing a photo for display. Again, they are 1. Associate people 2. Associate events 3. Write a caption 4. Write a description 5. Review your work and 6. Put the picture in display status. In this video, I will cover the final steps 3 through 6. What I am now going to show you for these final steps is just a recommendation and you are in no way obligated to follow the way I do it. I will explain my methods and conventions just as a way to make it easier to do the work necessary to prepare a picture for display. In part two, we associated Dale and Pete with this picture. In part three, we associated the child event, the Moore home, and the parent event, the 1999 Nichols, Tennessee reunion. Now, first thing I want to do when I write the caption is to copy the name of the parent or child event depending on the situation, which is completely in your discretion. Copying the name of the parent event over here is easy for me, but I recognize that it can be tricky for others. To demonstrate this problem, I'd like to first draw your attention to the caption text box. If I want to highlight all of the text in that text box, I can either hold down the left mouse key and drag across it, or the way I prefer is just to triple click inside the text box. Now, if I try that triple click maneuver over here for the parent event name, I will get a pop-up dialog box asking if I want to delete this association. Don't worry, if that happens, there is no harm and no foul. Just click on the button titled Cancel, and when you come back, the name is highlighted for you and you can copy it with a Control C. Or you can drag your cursor across it with the left mouse button held down. But because it is not a text box, it is a bit harder to control what gets copied. I can do it easily, and with some practice, you can too. But I want to show you one more option. You can click on the Manage Events, find the event in the listing on the left by scrolling down, or you can type in a keyword to narrow down your choices. And once you spot it, click on it. Then copy the name from the event text box by triple clicking in it, and then doing a Control C. Then click Close. And once back to the main photo association page, triple click in the caption text box to highlight the text there. Then paste the copied event name with a control V. I hope that by over explaining this, I am not making it seem too complicated. Once you've done this several times, you will adopt the system that is easiest for you. And it's really very simple. There is no right or wrong way as long as you accomplish the task, which here is to write a caption. In media editing, it is well recognized that captions should be short and convey an important piece of information, but not all of it. With that in mind, I limit the number of characters in a caption to 40. The reason I use the parent event as the caption for most pictures is because when people look at a picture, they want to know where and when it was taken. And that information should be in the parent event name. If it is not, then the event name should be rewritten to reflect that information. Also, when people view pictures, if they do not recognize the person or persons in the picture, they will either not be interested in the picture or they will read the description to get that information. So that brings us to writing the description. Descriptions should convey information and color. 
but should not be verbose. For those reasons, I limit the number of characters for descriptions to 250, and descriptions do not show line breaks when displayed, but they will in the editing box. I'll demonstrate that line break issue in a minute. So let's write the description for this picture. For pictures with two to approximately six people in them, this is the format I follow. I start at the left and go to the right, unless there is something complicated about the picture. This one is easy. I'll type from left, Dale Nichols and Pete Nichols snoozing on a couch in the Moore home during the 1999 Nichols, Tennessee reunion. We'll come back to writing descriptions in a moment, but let's first finish preparing this picture for display. I'm going to review my work. All of the people in the picture are associated with it. The appropriate parent and child events are associated with it. The caption and description look okay to me. So I'll do the final step, change the status to display, and click on the button titled Update. That is important. If you do not do an update, all of your work will be lost if you leave the picture for any reason. So if you go out to look at the picture on the photo selector page and it's not there or something you've written is missing, then most likely you forgot to click on the update button. I'm going to show you a little trick. Right now I want to go to the photo selector page, but I don't want to leave my place in the photo association page. So is here is what I can do. I'll copy the address in the address bar of the browser by clicking on it, making sure it is all highlighted, do a control C, then I will click next to this tab to open a new tab, then I'll paste that address into the address bar here with a control V and hit enter. Now I am at the photo association page in a new tab. I can click on the photo selector option down here on the shortcut bar at the bottom. You can also bookmark these pages. If you don't know how to do bookmarks, let us know and we'll get that information to you. So here we are in the photo selector screen. I'll select the 1999 Nichols Tennessee reunion and then click on the button titled Launch. Now, here is the picture of Dale and Pete snoring. I'll click on it and check out my work. Oops! There is an error I purposely made, which I'm sure you all caught, but were too polite to say anything about. I meant to say snoozing and type snoring instead. Freudian slip, I guess. I'll close the picture and then I'll switch tabs back to the photo association page. Here I will correct snoring and make it snoozing, then switch tabs back to the photo selector and click on that picture again. Oops, it still says snoring. Oh yeah, I forgot to click update. I'll close this picture, switch tabs, go down here to the update button and click on it. Note in the status bar that it has been updated. Now I'll switch tabs, click on that picture, and yippee, it now says snoozing. While we are working on this picture, I want to demonstrate that issue I mentioned earlier, and that is that line breaks will show in the text box where we write the description, but it won't when displayed. I'll switch tabs back to the photo association page, and I'll put in two line breaks, one here and one here, and I'll click on the update button. Now, to show you that it was updated, I'll switch pictures momentarily, then switch back, and you can see the line breaks in there. Now, let's switch tabs to the photo selector page, click on that picture, and now you can see in the description that those line breaks do not show up. There are both technical and tactical reasons for this choice I've made, but I won't go into that here. Just keep this in mind while you were writing your descriptions. Two last notes. First, 
I would encourage you to step through the pictures that I have already done. There are over 200 at the point I'm making this video. And there you can get ideas about how you will fashion your captions and descriptions. And secondly, it is very important to keep this one thing in mind when doing this work. If you are the person indicated as the sharer of a picture, then you can always come back and change the caption, description, add associations, remove associations that you created. So don't stress out over the perfection of your work. Well, that's about it. I know we've covered a lot of territory here, but with this video you can pause and replay it to your heart's content until you become a master of the photo association page. Thanks for listening. And I love you all dearly.